friends welcome back to our channel how are you in this episode we are going to learn something really interesting are you excited let's know what's that primates develop human evolution so i hope this will be interesting and i'm really excited to share this with you let's jump into the topic but before that the people who have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and activate the bell icon to get the notifications of my videos human evolution friends before going into the primates developed topic let us know some information about human evolution homo sapiens scientific name of humans so this name scientifically designates our species this is an important question and we have to remember the scientific name of humans that is homo sapiens this is the result of a long evolutionary process that began in africa during the pliocene epoch so on the research of scientists very few fossils have been found and there are no clear clues about what caused the amazing development of the culture some people believe that a change in the brain or vocal apparatus permitted the emergence of a complex language but other theories say that a change in the architecture of the human mind allowed homo sapiens to use imagination Hunting and gathering was a way of life for 10000 years until people formed settlements after the ice age then cities began to emerge primates develop perhaps motivated by climatic change some 5 million years ago the species of primates that inhabited the african rainforest subdivided making room for the appearance of the hominins that is our first bipedal ancestors appeared from that time onwards the scientific community has tried to reconstruct complex phylogenetic trees to give an account of the rise of our species DNA studies on fossil remains allow us to determine their age and their links with different species. Each new finding can put into a question old theories about the origin of humans. So friends, human lineage. So from first one let us start Australopithecus. Next Homo habilis. Homo erectus. Homo neanderthalensis homo sapiens now presently it came into homo sapiens so let us know about all these five in detail so friends you can just have a look at these pictures and the differences between all these five this is the human lineage with the first one australopithecus homo habilis third one homo erectus fourth one homo neanderthalensis and last one homo sapiens let us know about the first one in detail australopithecus so let's start with the precursor so this ape was the first true hominin but it is extinct today and bipedalism so this australopithecus requires less energy to move and leaves the hands free okay so the upright posture you can have a look at this arrow mark upright posture it can walk on two legs and this walking on two legs led to a weakening of the neck muscles and a strengthening of the hip muscles by walking on two legs this all neck muscles became weak and the hip muscles became stronger okay next free arms it has free arms next one homo habilis the great leap 
Its brain was much greater and there were substantial anatomical changes. So you can see at the growth of the Homo habilis, it is calculated that the growth of the brain is 44% larger with respect to Australopithecus, an enormous development in relation to the body. It is 44% larger with respect to the Australopithecus brain. And next ability, it was already using sticks and rocks as tools. Bones. Those of the hands and legs are very similar to those of modern human beings. So this is all about Homo habilis. Homo erectus. Migrant. This is the species that left Africa and rapidly populated almost all the old world. So from the form of its larynx, it is deduced that Homo erectus could talk. Okay, so the size, it already had the stature of the Homo sapiens but was stronger. Muzzles, some prominent muzzle markings and thick reinforced areas of the bones indicate that the body of Homo erectus could support strong movement and muzzle tension. Thickness, its bones including the cranium were thicker than those in previous species that is homo habilis homo neanderthalensis hunter gatherer very similar to homo sapiens nevertheless it is not its ancestor but a species that emerged from homo erectus chest the rib cage opened slightly outwards Adaptation. Its short, robust physique shows good adaptation to cold climates. And the last one, Homo sapiens. Cultural animal. The only surviving species of the Homo genus is the Homo sapiens. So the evolution of the Homo sapiens took place not through genetics but through culture. When we talk about stable movement, with the femur forming an angle towards the inside, the center of the body mass is rearranged. So this permits stable bipedal movement. The human lineage have been completed and now let's talk about the function of speech. In humans, speech has a semantic character. Upon speaking, a human always addresses other people with the object of influencing them, changing their thoughts, enriching them mentally or directing their conduct towards something specific. Some scientists believe that a change in the brain or vocal apparatus allowed the development of complex language. I already said to you and this facilitated creativity and the acquisition of knowledge. Tools for speaking. The larynx of a human is located much lower than in a chimpanzee and thus allows a human to emit a greater variety of sounds. And for thinking, the evolution of the brain has been essential for the development of language and other human capacities. Greater cranial capacity and nutrition have had physiological influences. The diagram given to the left side is the brain of a chimpanzee and the right side is the brain of a man. I mean the size. So friends, I hope today's topic was interesting that is the primates develop human evolution and if you like this video please hit the like button share this video and also subscribe to my channel activate the bell icon to get the notifications of my videos also follow me on Instagram and Facebook links are provided in the description box thank you for watching take care bye bye